Why are we stressed at work? So to answer this question, let's use a simple framework that I use. And if you're new to this channel, think of any problem just like a tree. The tree gets its water source from its roots to stay alive, right? The same way, what you can see, feel, or touch is just a symptom of the problem. And a problem goes much deeper. It has many factors, several root causes, but all you can see is the symptom at the top. So technically, if you fix the root causes, you can fix the factors and ultimately the symptom itself. So let's try and paint a bigger picture that looks like this. And feel free to take a screenshot. We start with the symptom, dive into the factors on why it exists, and then branch out to the root causes. So let's start with the symptom, which is stress among the employees is on the rise. 75% of people in a recent survey believe that workers have more on the job stress than a generation ago. And many believe their job is the number one reason of stress in their lives. To understand the symptom, we'll break it into top three factors on why this happens. And the first factor is too much change with less time for employees to adapt. We often see so much change happening around us that we feel as if there is very little time to adapt. But why? And the first root cause is the higher priority on speed and business growth. Companies are becoming less patient and want to see results sooner rather than later. Moreover, many organizations put a lower priority towards developing people and give employees less attention by not mentoring and improving their skills to do their jobs better. And these result in more pressure and stress for the employees. Now, factor number two is that employees are feeling less heard in the workplace. Think about it. Employees bring a lot of insights, and if those ideas are not being properly utilized, it has a negative impact on morale, right? But why? That's because most employees often avoid speaking up in front of their leaders because they don't want to be scrutinized or say the wrong thing. And moreover, they don't often get a seat in the table when big decisions are being made, leading to more stress and the feeling of not being heard. And the final factor of stress at work is because of unclear job expectations. Why is that? Because we don't often sit down with our managers to set the right priorities in a very clear manner, which leads to more confusion. And since we don't know where to focus on, we try too many things to go above and beyond, which leads to more burnout and frustration. So let's recap. These are the top six root causes why stress in the workplace is rising. Higher priority on speed, less time for mentoring and developing people, employees are afraid to speak up, and they don't get to provide inputs unless the leaders want to listen. Priorities are not clearly defined, and going above and beyond can sometimes lead to burnout. So here is my question to you. What is your number one problem-solving tip to fix these root causes? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment below. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, help me by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, and sharing with a friend. I'll see you in the next problem-solving exercise.